What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about viewing our structural model. So this time, we're going to work with our 3D views. In this exercise, we're going to modify the appearance of elements in an orthographic 3D view. So this is an orthographic 3D view. And I'm going to also show you how to create a perspective view. Okay? Now, for this, uh, the first part of the exercise, we're just going to simply change the color of our steel columns and then our uh, steel beams. Okay, steel columns and then the steel beams, we're going to change the color. Okay, so to do that, what you can do is you can go to the manage and then you can go to materials. All right, and then just look for the metal steel. So it's already set to metal steel there. So the material that is applied to our uh, steel columns and steel beams is a metal steel. Now, if you want to change this color, so you just need to select that. And then from the graphics, you can see there's a color here. You can also change here the transparency, by the way, and other options here like the surface patterns and cut patterns. Now, for this one, I'm just going to play around with the color. I'm going to click this. And on the color here, I'm going to change this to, let's say, uh, reddish. So 198. And then for the blue and green, I'll just make it 0. So there's the color that I would like for this one. And then I'll just select here, OK. That's it. OK, and then once I select here, apply, see what will happen. So it now changed to red color or reddish color. OK, so that's how you change the uh the the color of the material that is applied to your steel and columns okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna show you how to change the transparency so let's say i want to change the transparency of my roof okay so to do that what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go to the materials again materials and then here i need to look for the default roof because that is the uh, material that is currently applied to the roof here on our model it's a default roof material so i'm gonna select the default roof and this time instead of changing the color i'm gonna change here the transparency okay so i'm gonna make it uh, let's say 10 so i'm gonna move this and see what will happen here on our roof i'm gonna select here okay and there you go. So there is the transparency applied to my uh, roof. Okay. So that's just one way of doing it. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to create a section box. Okay. So, but uh, to do that, I just need to duplicate first the 3D here so that I do not uh, override the, the original 3D view. I'm going to duplicate this. So right click. Uh, duplicate and let me just change the name of this okay so maybe I'm gonna call this uh, section box view long enter okay okay now after that let's go to the properties without selecting any objects so from the properties, let's look for the section box. So this is the one that I'm talking about. So select section, uh, section box and then apply. And there you go. So there's the section box. Sometimes, even if you check the section box here, you still can't see the section box. If that happens, chances are the section box was hidden in your current view. It's like this. So I'm going to select the section box, right click. And I'm going to hide that in view elements. So it's hidden like this. So you will see why is it my section box is invisible even though if even though it's already checked here on my section bo box because it's hidden. So for you to be able to check that, you click that button there, reveal hidden elements. So just click that one and it will reveal all the elements that is hidden in your current view. 
okay which is this one so one of them is your section box so you can click that because it was hidden by elements so just select that and then from the reveal hidden elements panel just select here and hide element like that and then just close or just click again that icon there you go so you now have your uh, section box and another way uh, sometimes it is turned off on your visibility graphic overrides so let's click edit it's here on the annotation categories let's look for s, s section box sometimes it's unchecked here spy select here okay so again it's hidden here even if it is already check here on my properties okay so you just need to check also the visibility graphic overrides so that's another way of uh, checking it okay section box okay now for the section box I'm gonna use that to crop my uh, model so I'm gonna select the section box and then you will notice here some triangular uh, control grips appear on each face of the section box so there's the triangular control grip here here at the back at the top left side and then the front okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag the triangular control grip here on my uh, left face or here front face of the section box backward so like this right okay so you control like that like that okay right and then I'm going to drag another triangular control grip uh, somewhere here this one and then I'm gonna adjust it something like this there you go okay okay and then let's say for example this is already set up this is the view that you would like uh, to show to your client and let's say you want to lock this view so what you can do is you can click this button here to lock that uh, orthographic 3d view so just save orientation and lock the view like that so it's now already locked so if I try to orbit which is moving the view cube as you can see you can't touch the view cube because it's already locked if you try to orbit by holding the shift and holding the middle button of your mouse at the same time and then moving your mouse as you can see you still cannot orbit it why because it's already locked here okay so that's how you lock it so that nobody can touch the angle that you have uh, prepared or the angle that you have uh, set for your 3d view and another thing you can hide your section box again do not uncheck the section box here because it will show the whole thing again so what you do you just hide it just click right click hide in view elements that's it okay okay so after we set up our orthographic view I'm gonna show you how to generate a 3d view from an existing elevation view so let's say for example I have an elevation here let's say elevation 4-a take note that you can also do this on the floor plans or section view I'm only doing that on the elevation for this exercise but you can also do this uh, procedure in other 2d views okay let's say this is my elevation 4-a right and what I want is I want to see this in the 3d view so how am I going to do that okay so to do that I'm going to open the 3d view this one and then after that you see the view cube here I'm going to right click any part of the view cube and then after that you see there's an option here orient to view and then you have several options here floor plans elevation section and 3d views so I'm gonna select floor plans uh, sorry elevation and then after that look for elevation 4-a so just click that one and automatic Revit will uh, orient the view to that uh, 3d view so this is 3d so I'm gonna click one element there you go so this is the 3d of your elevation 4-a for example so again I'm going to orient that I'm gonna click this one and then maybe I'm gonna hide again the 
uh, section box and then I'm going to lock the view wait I'm just gonna rename this one first rename and then I'll call this 3d brace frame enter okay and then let's lock it if you want to create another 3d view you just need to click this icon again so it will create another default 3d view click that and as you can see you now have another default 3d view okay so i now have here my 3d brace frame and then the section box view long uh, 3d okay so that's it for this simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day